Your tone of voice is super important, according to Chris Voss in his book, Never Split the Difference. Let's find out why. Welcome to the Bite Size Sales Podcast, where we believe that sales is the most important team in a B2B company, that complacency is the enemy, and taking bite-sized steps each day to get better at your craft is the best way to improve results. I am your host, Andrew Monaghan, and I'm using my 26 years of experience in B2B sales to bring you small, actionable ideas every day to help you get better. I'm someone who thinks about tone of voice and voice quite a lot, mostly because I'm very self-conscious about my own. I know I have this kind of strange Scottish-American accent. You know, I was born in Scotland, grew up there for most of my life, and then moved to the U.S. 20 years ago. And over those 20 years in this country, you know, I started off with a a pretty decent Scottish accent. And then over time, uh, without really any intention whatsoever, it's kind of drifted away and I'm at this weird spot right now. And I know when I go home, I get a, back to Scotland, I get a bunch of grief from my friends about the way I sound. And over here, people kind of look at me a bit funny and go, what's that weird twang that you have? And they're trying to figure out and they ask me if I'm all sorts of nationalities. And once in a while, people guess correctly and say Scotland. Um, so I'm very conscious about the way I talk. I, I'm, I also know that from time to time, I, I might talk a little bit fast. Again, from you know, the Scottish accent is one where we, we talk fast. And sometimes if, I'm, if my head and my brain is moving faster than my mouth, I find that I mumble some words from time to time. So sometimes I even wonder why the heck I'm doing a podcast if I'm not so confident about my voice. But let's leave that to one side. What I found, though, over the time is no one likes to hear their own voice, but it's what other people know us at. They know us what we're all about. People are not so critical because it's just how you talk, right? And people just kind of accept it. Um, Chris Voss writes about tone of voice in his book, Never Split the Difference. And and Chris Voss is an ex-FBI hostage hostage negotiator. Um, And in that role, uh, having never done it before, my understanding is that spend a lot of time on the phone with people. So tone of voice is important. And in sales, we spend a lot of time on the phone as well. Some of our sales roles are entirely phone-based. Even those out in the field will spend a lot of time on the phone as well. So tone of voice on the phone is key. So let's let's just read from the book and, and see what he says. When deliberating on a negotiating strategy or approach, people tend to focus all their energies on what to say or do, but it's how we are our general demeanor and delivery that is both the easiest thing to enact and the most immediately effective mode of influence. Our brains don't just process and understand the actions and words of others, but their feelings and intentions too, the social meaning of their behavior and their emotions. On a mostly unconscious level, we can understand the minds of others not through any kind of thinking, but through quite literally grasping what the other person is feeling. Think of it as a kind of involuntary neurological telepathy. Each of us in every given moment signaling to the world around us, whether we are ready to play or fight, laugh or cry. When we radiate warmth and acceptance, conversations just seem to flow. When we enter a room with a level of comfort and enthusiasm, we attract people toward us. Smile at someone on the street, and as a reflex, they'll smile back. Understanding that reflex and putting it into practice is critical to the success of just about every negotiating skill there is to learn. That's why your most important and powerful tool in any verbal communication is your voice. You can use your voice to intentionally reach into someone's brain and flip an emotional switch. Distrusting to trusting. Nervous to calm. In an instant, the switch will flip just like that with the right delivery. There are essentially three voice tones available to negotiators. The late night FM DJ voice, the positive slash playful voice, and the direct or assertive voice. Forget the assertive voice for now, except in very rare circumstances, using it is like slapping yourself in the face while you're trying to make progress. 
you're, sig you're signaling dominance onto your counterpart who will either aggressively or passive aggressively push back against attempts to be controlled. Most of the time, you should be using the positive, playful voice. It's the voice of an easygoing, good-natured person. Your attitude is light and encouraging. The key here is to relax and smile while you're talking. A smile, even while talking on the phone, has an impact tonally that the other person will pick up on. So that's the passage from the book. Um, and, you know, for those of us on the phone a lot, you know, we're, we're kind of held back. They say that something like that 58% of communication is through body language. Clearly on the phone, you can't do that. But what you can do is influence how you approach each of our calls. You can think about whether you're positive. You can think about the energy you're bringing. You can think about the tone of how you're communicating, all to try and make the other person feel comfortable working with you. So if this is something you want to get better at, I would recommend that you get into the habit of doing something very simple before each call, but maybe before each prospect visit, before each customer visit, and for a few seconds, just check how you're approaching the call or the meeting. Check your mentality, your mindset, and check the way that you're talking and intentionally go in there to put people at ease and make them want to work with you. If you want to get the book mentioned in this episode for free, simply go to bitesizesales.com forward slash free book. If you sign up on that page for unstoppable.do, we'll send you your book on us. Unstoppable gives you habit-forming action notes on great sales books such as Spin Selling, Never Split the Difference, New Sales Simplified, The Challenger Sale, and many more. In there, you get the best ideas from these books, all organized in a straightforward and easy to implement way and designed for you to take action and transform your results. All of the equivalent of three cups of coffee per month. Start now and get your free book by going to bitesizesales.com forward slash free book. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it with anyone you think would get value. Coworkers, teammates, your boss, your head of sales, even that guy you worked with two companies ago who could probably do with some help. In fact, just overshare it. This is one of the few times it's cool to do that. Your podcast app will have a share button. Please click it and share it wide and far. <laughs>